Hey Nick. Hey Adam, what's going on? What you doing over here? I'm just measuring some critical dimensions on the shock body. Ooh. So our machine operator is checking the dimensions throughout the day, but several times throughout the day I'll come around and check all of our really critical dimensions to make sure everything's right where we need it. So here we're using an air gauge that measures the inner diameter of the shock body. Uh, the tolerance range on these shock bodies is pretty mind-blowing. So we go back four decimal points, five ten thousandths of an inch. That's about 80% thinner than a sheet of paper. And if it's outside of that range, we consider it a bad part and we don't use it. What happens to it? We recycle it. So for a lot of our ID threads, we like to use plug gauges. And so one gauge is, is made incorrectly, and if it goes, it's not good. And you have a correctly made thread, which is your go thread, and that should go smooth from the very front, very end of thread. You want to check the entire thread length. It's a good thread. All right, so this one we're gonna check the OD threads. This is where our adjustable spring retainer threads onto and adjust the preload on your coil. For these threads, we like to use these OD ring gauges and um, it's a no-go and a go setup. Uh, pretty simple, if the no-go goes, it's a bad thread. And if the go goes, it's a good thread. So the no-go stops after about a quarter of a turn, which is good. And with the go gauge, we're feeling for any inconsistencies in the thread, if it gets sharp, there's burrs that have developed, how the start thread is, how the end thread is. <laughs> we like to also check parts with mating parts. So we're gonna use our adjustable spring retainer, check your upper and your lower OD threads. Uh, we like to use calipers on certain dimensions on some easy checks like O-ring surface is. <laughs> <laughs> Wall thicknesses that you can use in congruence with our air gauge that we use on the ID. So to check our thread dimensions along with ring gauges, uh, we like to use these measuring tools. These are digital micrometers. This will tell us our major diameters of our threads, as well as the minor diameters and the pitch numbers. This one we like to use is a profilometer. It measures the surface finish of our ID surfaces and our O-ring surfaces and so it drags a little tiny diamond stylus across the surface of it and measures all your peaks and valleys and tells us how we're machining it. So this part checks out. From here it's going to get polished and then coated. From there it'll go into our parts bin where it'll be used on a customer shop build. going to get polished and then coated and then into our parts bin. Who knows, the shock could even be yours. Now that was <laughs> <terrible>. <laughs>